Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the basics of how to use our calculator. Now, the calculator we use in our actuarial science is FX82 ES Plus. Now, there are a few calculators that are allowed in our examination. Not all calculators are used. This is a scientific type of calculator in which there are only 82 functions. Now, this is very important because uh, the other scientific calculator that is usually used is 991 now that is not allowed in our examination so you have to buy this specific calculator fx82 es plus now the casio one is the most um, widely used because it is most widely available now while buying make sure that it is fx82 and there are two uh, versions that are allowed that one is ms and the other is es but es is always preferable uh, because there are a few functions that ms cannot do which we require in a few examinations now we'll just look at the basic layout of our calculator now i'm going to use a um, app that uses similar kind of a calculator it's not the exact same but most of our functions are exactly same that is why we can use this calculator while we are using this video now if you look at the calculator they both side by side you can see that most of the buttons are exactly same position except for a few first of all these replay buttons arrows are very much important to us they are placed here then if you see here we have integration dx in our app but here we do not have that the integration part is not allowed in our examination to use by calculator that is why in this fx82 there is no integration function other than that most of the values are exactly same now in this calculator whenever we are uh, trying to form an equation or solve a particular equation we can use a few things now if you have a fraction you can see we have a fraction button here if you press that it gives you a fraction value now for that you have to make sure that your cursor is visible you can see the cursor here it is on the numerator so numerator let's say is 56 and if you want to go to the denominator you can press the down key so when we press the down key in that replay part it will the cursor goes down and we'll say let's say it is divided by 68 now usually the answers may be given in fraction form here it is in decimal form because it uh, most probably uh, the app shows it in uh, decimal form but in our uh, actual calculator it is going to show in our fraction form now how do we convert our fraction form into decimal and decimal into fraction form so for that we use this SD button that is above our delete button if you see that SD if you click that it will show you in the least fraction value or it will convert from fraction to decimal so you can click it again and again it will switch from fraction to decimal so clearly you can use this SD button to actually convert your fraction value into decimal value whenever you want then we'll talk about this power button you can say x raised to box now if i want to find let's say 5 square so i'll say 5 and there's a square button here so i'll just press square so that gives me 25 now if i want 5 raised to 4 i'll say 5 and then you can see besides that square button there is a box so you press that it will give you a box there and you can just press 4 and that gives you 625 now if you want to make an equation let's say 5 raised to 4 and then I want to add something so what I want is my cursor to go down so I'll press the side arrow key the side arrow key to make a cursor go down or you can press the down arrow key as well so when you press that you can see the cursor goes down and then we'll say minus we'll have 4 raised to let's say 5 now this gives us minus 399 
so this is how you can use your power value you can actually take a negative power so I'll say I'll have 8 raised to minus 2 and then equal to you get 1 by 64 if you want to convert it into decimals you'll just press this SD button and you get it in decimal form you can see fraction decimal so in this manner you can convert your uh, you can write your power functions then we have something e especially in statistics we use our Euler's constant e a lot so we require e raised to now you can see above the ln button you have e raised to so it is written in yellow now for that to access anything that is written in yellow we press the shift key you can see on the top left corner we have a shift key so if I want e raised to minus 5 so I'll press shift then press that ln button you get e raised to and let's say minus 5 and that is going to give me this I'll press decimal and gives me the answer in this manner you can use any value that is written in yellow using our shift key now in our calculator we have another key alpha in red here it is in purple so if you want to use any value in our calculator that is highlighted in red you will have to press that alpha key now if I want to write that A or B or C or D so what I'll have to do is I'll press alpha and then I'll press that particular button and it gives me an A then I can say plus alpha B now I have not stored any values in A and B and something like that but we can store values in this as well we'll see that in further um, videos right now we'll talk about more different buttons now this HYP hyper sin cos and tan are no use to us because we actually do not use our trigonometry values so basically we will not be using our trigonometric functions then we come up to log functions now whenever we talk about our uh, course wherever they have written log it always means log to the base e but the log here is log to the base 10 now just to check I'll press log 10 and that should give me 1 because log to the base a a should be equal to 1 so this log is nothing but log to the base 10 for log to the base e we require this ln so ln is our natural log that becomes log to the base e so we'll press that ln button and if we want e you can see that we can press shift e and e raised to 1 so if I do that I get 1 so ln is our log to the base e and log is our log to the base 10 so you should always make sure that whenever there is written log without any base in our questions or in our solution that just means log to the base e so use ln not log so this is something we should always take care of then there are few modes we have three modes that we will talk about in later videos you can access that with this mode button in this um, app there are many different uh, modes but in our uh, calculator we have math we have stat and we have table these are the only three modes that are available in our calculator now in future videos we will talk about how to use those particular uh, modes as well now whenever you press AC you are clearing whatever is in your um, whatever is in your screen to write down a new equation or anything but you can access your previous equation directly now how do we access that if you press the up arrow key you can see that I got that ln e raised to 1 if I press another up arrow key I get log 10 if I press another up arrow key I get e raised to minus 5 so you can look at your answers look at your equations and you can also change your equations 
so if i want uh, let's say this 8 raised to minus 2 was wrong uh, or i'll go to another okay here instead of 5 raised to 4 minus 4 raised to 5 let's say it was 5 raised to 4 plus 4 raised to 5 so i want to change this equation so for that i'll press any of the arrow keys side arrow keys so um, if i press side arrow key see you can see the cursor is back on our equation so then you can press your side arrow keys to go to wherever there was a change then you can use a del button to actually delete that particular value and then just press whatever you want to so you can replace your equation with new values if you want to and if you press equal to you will get 1649 so in this manner you can change your equation now after pressing equal to this equation has come down so our first equation right now is this then if i press up i will go to the previous equation then previous equation then previous equation then previous and you can see we have our original equation here as well so if i needed both the values i can basically check again and again but but if you press on button if you press on button you lose all your stored equations so make sure not to press on button when you are actually solving one single sum where you might require the equation again and again so this was a brief idea about how to use our calculator so uh, I, in further videos i am going to talk about different different functions and how to use them relative to whatever um, whatever chapter or whatever topic we are talking about in our examination